It's in the in my bunker. So it's uh, Wednesday night. It's the what twenty fifth, I think. Is it still the twenty fifth? I think. I think. Um, I'm confused. What is it? Uh, yeah. Okay, um, I better go to sleep now. And uh, when I get in the morning, I guess um, um, see what happens then. See how I feel. All right, I guess on in the morning. Uh, I got up, turned on my just a little bit of light. Um, I'm gonna go probably turn on the uh, the tanning bed so I can have some like light, light, you know, like. As close as I can get to artificial sun. Um, this is what it's like being isolated from everybody. You know, in my own room, it just like right here in the bunker, the fallout shelter, just underground. Uh, I'm, I'm more than six feet underground, and it, it, I know it sounds pretty bad, like six feet under. Isn't that like you know what that means? But uh, this is a different situation. This is more like ten feet under. Uh, I gotta... Oh, boy. Uh, got it. An achy. Oh, my gosh. Just not feel good. Whew, I was laying down on this. Uh, that's... Oh, I'm stiff. My neck's hurting. Oh, man. That's not good. I gotta get the cup and get water on it. And more water. Uh, I, I I got if I have to go out there I have to check on something, but I can't even like stay out there yet because they're still here. But when they go, I have to use this to go check to make sure everything is clear. I get on the radio and I'll, I'll communicate. Like I said, uh, I communicate and I say, "Hey, I'm coming upstairs. Is the coast clear?" Uh, all right. I need to turn on the sun. I gotta turn the sunlight on, guys. Oh, yeah. Oh, morning, morning, morning. This is good. Oh, just even if I cannot look at it, this is like too much. Just having a light in the room, it's reflecting around. It just gives me my body that feeling. Plus, I'm gonna lay in the air a little bit and absorb some of that so I'm going to do that once it warms up so that's another thing I do in the morning now is it let that warm up get some of that light in the air makes it feel like I'm getting daylight then then I can lay in there and get some sun it's the only way I'm going to do that my hair's a mess um, and I know somebody mentioned last night I shouldn't be getting these like why am I getting these in no one, the doctors can't have them. I bought this before this whole pandemic started. I, this was something I bought to work on cars and to cut the grass when the grass was uh, growing. And uh, that, that, it's been a while. It was before this all started. I mean, there was word about that happening after after getting this before it all all this happened before it got as bad as it did. Because uh, I was thinking I got it like. A couple months ago, but then uh, I realized the only kind of mask I got a couple months ago was your basic one. It was like just before this all happened, and this one here, the more professional, higher end one. This one was because of all the the dust and sanding and stuff, and working on the cars and the polishing and the spray painting, and uh, cutting the grass. So I got another mask somewhere. I just cannot find it. It's the one that I got more recently. It was like just before this got really bad. And before there was even a short... <laughs> oh no, oh no, oh no. If I did that in public, people would be running. People would be running. I guess I better... Uh, I better do this. Mark the day. It's the next day. Okay. It's the next day. I think I'm going to put on my face mask. Hold on. I got to do that. Okay, now I've got on my face mask. And I'm going to mark the self-quarantine for today. 
It's one more day that I'm down here in the bunker and I've got to make sure that I mark this on here so that I can keep track of every day that I'm stuck in the bunker on the ground. So here we go, one more line for the day. Now that makes how many? I just put it there, but I was not paying attention and I didn't record myself doing it, so I'm going to redo it. There's my new line. I'm just making it darker. It's the blue line. Everything was green. I went blue today. I know green is uh, is more energy conserving, isn't it? You go you go green and you save the planet, right? Is that what it is? I went blue today. What does that mean? What does that mean? All right. I'm, oh, I'm gonna get some sun. I gotta find my glasses. They're somewhere. I don't know where I put them. There could be. Oh no, they're probably. I probably left them upstairs when I was going up there, and I have to go up there. I'm not gonna be able to see for a while. There's no way that I'm going up there right now because the coast is not clear and I can't do that. Well, I have this, but still, this is made to protect others from infection. So if I have the big C and that sneeze was because of that and not because of allergies, then I would be contaminating others, but I don't know. Brianna's been sick. Brianna's been having something. I don't know what it is. It could be the cold, the allergies, or it could be the big C, and I'm not sure, but she might has something that I don't know about and I don't want to catch anything that I don't know about. So I think it's best to protect each other that way I have something to protect them from me and then they just, uh, you know, when they go to work then I go upstairs and everything is good. Okay. I'm gonna go sit down on my little bench here, my little seat, my little you know, my cooler that has all the stuff that I need to keep nourished, that is nourished. Okay, that light is kind of bright. I don't want to get retinal damage, you know, like, I don't want to have any problems. I don't need any more than I have. We all have a lot of problems lately. Okay, I'm going to go lay down in here and get my tanning. I need to find my special glasses. I'm going to burn my eyes. But I need to lay and get some sun. Okay. Let me lay down and get... Oh! Oh, this feels so good. Oh, this is so good. Oh, this is so... I think I better take off the mask, otherwise, you know, what's going to happen. Yeah, I'm going to have a white spot on me. There we go. Okay. I feel like... What is it? Is it the... Vampire or Dracula? Who is it? Who, like, opens up... The the coffin and comes out. <laughs> yeah. I use this to pull on when I get up. <sighs> there we go. Better bring this with me. Because, uh, that's it. Based on my timing, I timed that just right. The coast should be clear. I'm going to give it 15 minutes <clears throat> for the air quality to change. Like they, like I said, they uh, open the windows, and leave the screens air out the house, and uh, I'm gonna go up there. I'm gonna put this on when I go up there, just in case, just for a little bit, and then I'll take it off. So that's what I'm doing now. Oh, okay. So I've made it up here to where civilization exists. But unfortunately, I can only be up here when no one is here. <sighs> Look, there's some daylight outside, but it's not sunny, it's cloudy, but it's good enough. It's good enough for me. I think I'm gonna have to go outside and get some fresh air. Oh, feels good. I got the window open there, so the screen is letting me fresh air. And I told them to leave the garage door open to air it out. Oh, let's see if they've done that. Oh, yes. It has been done. It's air it out. Oh, it's good. It's good. It's all good. All right. I think I'm going to have me some breakfast. Why did I go to the garage? I was going there for a reason. Oh, now I can shut it. 
Now I can shut the door. Oh, whoa, it feels cold. Why? What's happening? It feels cold out there. I don't get it. Wait a minute. It's tomorrow that's going to be in the 80s. I thought it was already tomorrow. I'm so confused. That's what happens when you're downstairs in a bunker. When you're below the ground, you lose track of the days of the week. And I don't even know what day it is no more unless I look at my, my watch. And I don't know where my glasses are. I can't even read it. Where did I put my glasses? Oh no. I can't find my glasses. How am I gonna see? Oh no. I gotta go find them. Let me find them now. Okay. Okay, much better now I can see what's going on. I'm gonna go have my food. I gotta cook on the stove. It's nice to be able to cook up here. And then I can eat up here. Uh, until they get back. They only work a couple hours a day because of this whole thing. Their hours are reduced, but they're working essential jobs and they're around the public. And since they're around the public, I gotta be careful that I don't get anything from them and that I don't give them anything in case this is not allergies and this happens to be the big C. I don't know, just being very careful because you never know these days what happens when you have a sneeze or a cough or maybe a slight temperature. You might have something that, uh, it's part of the pandemic that's out here today, all week and all month. Let me do this now and then get this done. I hear water running and I don't know what's going on. Is it raining outside? What's happening? I need to know these things now. I'm gonna put this down and investigate. My nose, I don't know what's happening. Like, I'm serious. I don't know. I'm not joking around. I don't know what's happening. Is it, It's probably allergies because everything's blooming up out here. Uh, if you can see the trees. They're like... It's beautiful. Look, like back there, just the trees. They're, they're blooming up. See how the green they are? Look at that. So I'm thinking, you know, it's the pollen doing this. You know, because you, you don't want to be that person that has, uh, you know, that gets sick. And then, uh, uh, you know, there's this whole quarantine thing going on. And and, and then it's like, I got to be down there for two weeks. Can't even come up here for food. Look at that beauty. See, that's what's probably causing my allergies, because that's all green right there. You know, all the other trees are catching up. They're getting green. It's, it's some of these other breeds out here just get green quicker. But that's what's happening. That's what all the pollen is coming from. So that's why I'm feeling that. I, I, I'm, I'm assuming, I'm assuming, otherwise, if it's not, that's why I'm wearing the face mask to protect others. So I don't contaminate the air when I sneeze, even though I sneeze... Usually I, well, usually I sneeze into my sleeve, but I very seldom wear a long sleeve. I mean, when I'm saying very seldom, like maybe 1% of my time, uh, so it's like, well, I'm going to sneeze into my own skin. <sighs> okay. I want to go walking. I'm done with this. I'm going walking. I'm done with being inside. So that's it. I hope you guys are being safe. Uh, you know, like I said, essential businesses are open, so if you need anything like groceries, gas, you know, if you need car repair, I'm sure these companies are still having some staff out there, you know, mechanics and all that. Um, yeah, so all that stuff, if you need that, you know, it's there. Like, what it is with my line of business, there's so many things right now that I cannot do. I mean, the field service technician job, they shut down, they only have the billing department open and, and taking calls for future, you know, service calls or services um other than that that's what's happening waiting on a couple of people to call me back on some job opportunities that i applied for over the last month or two and you know things are kind of on a slowdown and that's just the way things go like i said i want to be able to work uh i don't know i, I think a prof profession that allows me to engage with the community and be there and have that uh i don't know just having that self you know that sense of accomplishment because like I said, doing business online, you're doing web design and e-commerce, you know, dealing with people in that way, it's different than when you're actually helping families in, per in person and even working on cars. I mean, I want to be able to make a, a business out of that. I mean, I love doing car mods and, and repairs and, and uh, upgrades and just seeing people excited when they, when they use the cars after I do these things. And I've been doing this for my friends and stuff. And it's like, I need to expand instead of doing it part-time, do it full-time. 
you know, make a career out of it maybe. I mean, it's a hobby and, you know, I get mostly merchandise from my friends or you know, just bartering, you know, trading things and sometimes they get paid and I was like, I don't know, it's like, I feel funny because it's like not a, not a full-time thing, but it's part-time and I love doing that. So, yeah. I don't know, I gotta think. It's just so much things I gotta think into. I just want something that's rewarding for everybody, you know, so I can see, you know, engage with people. When it comes to creating YouTube content, I try to be as entertaining as I, as I possibly can. You know, especially through all this. I mean, this is a stressful thing going on. And I know it's it's hard to to find a positive thing when things like this happen. You know, it's like, we're in fear. 